Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Selects Academy at South Kent School 15 National Hockey on YouTube. This afternoon, the Selects Academy National 15 team takes on the Mid-Fairfield Junior Rangers in their opening game of the season. We are live at the Admiral James and Civil Stockdale Arena in South Kent, Connecticut, where the leaves are just starting to turn. The temperature is starting to drop a little bit, which means it is time for some hockey here on the hill at South Kent. First game of the season for the 15s. The 16s and 18s both getting off to successful 2-0 starts with wins each yesterday and today, respectively, both over CP Dynamo. In fact, CP Dynamo yet to, uh, the opposing team here in this building today, yet to score a goal as both teams won in shutouts earlier. Teams are warming up, so let's take a look at the uh, lineup for Selects Academy. In goal, not sure who started yet, but we'll see. Looks like Tommy Aiken might be starting number 31 from Winchester, Massachusetts. And Bennett Jung from Nashville, Tennessee, played for the TPH Thunder last season. On defense, number three, Charlie DeRoche. Number four, Caden Varga. Number 20, Austin Cook. Number six, Frank Jurasevich. Check that number seven, Frank Jurasevich. Number six, Josh Steele. And number five, Aiden Arisman. Here are the lines for the Selects Academy 15 National. On left wing, number 16, Justin Gordon. At center, number nine, Victor Chernekinair. On right wing, number 22, Jake Stapert. On left wing, number 11, Ryan Miknich. At center, number 14, Nick DeSantis from Collegeville, Pennsylvania. Jack Williams, one of two commits on this team, Chernekinair being one at Quinnipiac, and Williams, a Northeastern commit from Biddeford, Maine, checking in at 5'10", 155 pounds, number 15, and playing right wing today. At left wing, number 10, Colin Anna from Odessa, Florida. Florida, of course, under the abuse of Hurricane Irma today, and hopefully everybody back home in Florida is safe. Colin Anna, number 10, at left wing from Odessa, Florida. Number 19, Will Rinaldi from Winfield, Mass. Number 29, Jack Gorton, played for the, these mid-Fairfield Rangers last season, as did Chernekinair. At left wing, number 24, Jaden Boreanis. At center, number 37 from Latvia, Felix Gavers. And at right wing, number 26, Tyler Silverstein. So the team's getting warmed up, and uh, the new players on campus at Selects Academy trying to get their feet wet underneath them as they get their feet underneath them as they take this ice here at the Admiral James and Sybil Stockdale Arena for the first time in their careers here at South Kent. About a minute and a half left to go in warm-ups here. And we'll take a look at mid-Fairfield. Mid Fairfield's two goalies are number 21, Cam Smith, and number 30, Bennett Ostern. On defense, number four, Jason Marcella. Number eight, Justin Whitfelt. Number nine, Nico DiMarinis. Number 15, Nick Marciano. Number 23, Michael Matarano. And number 47, Matthew Yersini. At forward for the Junior Rangers, number six, Victor Diaz. Number 10, Jeffrey Lumia. Number 13, Eddie Martino. Number 14, Will Rice. Number 19, Ethan Cott. Number 22, DJ Mattis. Number 24, AJ Serbone. Number 27, Nikita Kovalev. And number 87, Andrew Esposito.
Fifteens are, of course, coached by Scott Ganey, talking to his troops down below before the game. We'll get set to go here. Looks like Selects will start with Varga and DeRoche on defense with Gordon at left wing, Chernakanair at center, and Jake Stapert on the right-hand side. Rangers will counter with Lumia, Martino, And Nikita Kovalev with Marcella and Marciano at the point. And we're set to get underway here. In this 2017-2018 season. And here we go. And the Selects Academy 15 season is underway. And the Rangers will take control off the draw. And they will dump it deep into the... Academy zone, back will go Varga. Varga sends around the boards for Gordon. Gordon will outlet it. Comes to center ice where Marciano just will dump it back in behind Aiken. Aiken will field it there and leave it for DeRoche. DeRoche will come up on the left wing side out of the zone. Chip it ahead for Gordon. Gordon in over the blue line. Gordon tries the stick handle, but no sale there. And back the other way comes Lumia. Lumia for the Rangers, dumps it deep in again. And Aiken will get his second touch of the game so far. He handles it. And leaves it there for Durasevich. Durasevich feeds it up for Gordon, who leaves it for Chinekanair. Victor moving into the near side corner and loses it there to Ursini. Nice hit there by Jack Williams coming in hard on the forecheck and back. The puck comes the other way. Nice keep in there by DeSantis. DeSantis working hard in the corner. DeSantis battling there along the boards with the Rangers. Puck comes back to the point. Centered in front for Williams, but can't find the handle. And the puck will come out high to Durasevich. Durasevich fanned on the shot, but the puck is loose. And that puck is banged in for the first 15's goal of the season. That goal scored by Ryan Miknich. Fairfield comes right back and they tie it up as we had some audio difficulties there. And it is 1 1 with 15 32 left to go here in the first period. there in the corner by the Rangers and the Academy will control there and the puck will come out of the zone the Academy controlling along the boards there and that is Rinaldi he can't find the handle puck comes out of the zone now and it's handled back at the left point by Steele Steele will dump it down, and the Rangers will go back and chase. And Fairfield tries to come out of the zone. They tip it up into the mid-Fairfield bench, and that faceoff will stay inside, 14-45. forty-five left to go here in period number one. We're tied up at one. And as I was dealing with some audio issues, I did not see who scored that first mid-Fairfield goal, but we'll try to get the scoring on that for you between periods. The Rangers dump it deep there. Varga 
We'll handle it for Selects. And back the other way comes the Academy. And now Marciano will dump it on ahead. That shot goes high and over the net of Aiken. Gavers there, dumps it back to the point. Marciano, that puck is tip, shot in and tipped wide of Aiken. And out comes Borianis. Puck loose in front. And back the other way come the Rangers. They're still trying to get these numbers straight early in the season. And here comes Austin Cook. Battle in the corner. And Mid Fairfield will come away with the puck. And back the other way comes the Academy. Shot goes in wide of goaltender Cam Smith. And selects at the neutral zone. will dump it back in deep in their defensive zone. Puck will come out of the zone and be fielded there by Durasevich. Durasevich kicks it over for Cook. Cook moving down the left wing side. He tries to come in front. Loses the handle on the puck and Durasevich will field at the right point. Sends it to the center of the ice, and a shot goes in. Smith will deflect that up into the netting. And we'll get a stoppage tied at 1, 12.55 left to go here in period number one. DeSantis in to take the draw. He's out there with Miknich. And looks like Williams. Puck will come back to Williams. Williams will shoot. That goes high and over Smith. Handled there by DeSantis. Tries to put one on net, but that goes wide and back the other way come the Rangers. And in comes Irishman. Irishman and that play will go offsides coming into the zone. And we'll get a stoppage with 12.41 left to go here in period number one. Still tied up at one. Rangers will win the draw, and that's handled there. And we'll come out of the zone. Here comes Kovalev over the wing, over the blue line, rather. Kovalev in the far corner. He'll send it back to the point. And in the near side corner appears to be Will Rice. He comes back out to the point now. And now Williams will handle it, his own blue line. He sends it up the left wing side to Mignic. Mignic sends it back to the point to Steele. Steele sends it through center, and that'll be another turnover as it comes back to De Marinas. De Marinas sends it up for Lumia. Steele, now will, so I check that, Arisman will now field for the academy, and Williams will take it along the near side half wall. And he'll dish it up for Steele, who will get it up to Miknich. Miknich in over the blue line. Miknich moving in, gives it back to Steele. Steele with a nice centering pass there for Jack Gorton. And it comes out to Rinaldi, who can't get it through a mass of bodies in front. And now Rinaldi will circle and battle there on the corner. Rinaldi with a nice move coming around the corner. He'll center it across. Oh, and a nice save by Cam Smith. Stopping the academy right there, right on the back door. And the puck will come back in the zone where Charlie DeRoche will field. And that was a nice stop there coming across from his left to his right by Cam Smith on the nice pass by Will Rinaldi. And that puck will get covered up by Smith in front of his own net. 11.06 left to go here in period number one. A great chance there for the academy but Cam Smith shutting the door for the Rangers. And Rinaldi steps in on the draw. Rinaldi battling there along with Colin Anna. And the puck will come back where DeRoche will just dump it in deep. Jack Gorton will chase. Gorton played for these mid Fairfield Rangers last year. The Rangers, of course, going to the U14 national, uh, check that, national tournament where they did not get out of the preliminary round. 
And back the other way come the Rangers. It's fended off nicely there by Varga. And now the Academy will control. And back the other way comes Gavers. Gavers will get a shot at on Smith. He makes a right pad stop. And now comes back to the point. And that's Silverstein. Gavers and Silverstein with the heavy four check there. And now Mid Fairfield will take control in their own corner and circle behind their goaltender. With just over 10 minutes left to go here in period number one, and we're knotted up at one from South Kent, Connecticut. Nice hit there at the blue line by Frank Durasevich. Puck will come across near side to Austin Cook. He's pressured there in the near side corner. He's battling there with Trinek and Air. Trinek and Air Silverstein out there along with Jaden Boreanis. And back the other way comes Mid Fairfield. Goes in on Aiken, and Aiken will cover and get a stoppage with 9.37 left to go here in period number one. Academy trying several different line combinations so far. This time we got Stapert out there with Gordon and Chenekanair. Actually, that's the line that started the game. And Gordon now will come out of his own zone. Academy having trouble getting any sustained pressure, but they are controlling the play thus far. The exception of what appeared to be that rather fluky first goal. Again, didn't get a good look at it. Shot in on Smith, that goes high and wide. Puck centered in front, that's blocked there and back the other way comes Mid Fairfield. Mid Fairfield will center it, and in comes Kovalev. Aiken with a blocker save. That'll go up over the net. Nice save there by Aiken on Kovalev. And the puck is now centered back the other way comes Stapert. This is Stapert coming across the blue line. Stapert loses the handle, finds it, tries to get it on net, and that shot is blocked by the Rangers. It'll come back to the point. Vargo will shoot it there. That'll go wide in the far corner. Gordon gives it to DeSantis. DeSantis. Circling in the corner. Nice move by DeSantis. Oh, and just can't beat that last defender. And the Academy scores there. Nice play by DeSantis. And looks like Jack Williams will get his first goal for the Academy. And they take a 2-1 to one lead off a nice play there by DeSantis and a broken play in front. And Williams gets the goal to put the Academy back on top. 8-26 left to go here in period number one. And DeSantis will control for the academy. DeSantis loses it there. In comes Will Rice and he'll fire that shot on net. Rice and Aiken, former teammates last year on the Westchester Express. Mid Fairfield coming back hard, trying to answer quickly. Back the other way, come the express, and this is DeSantis up the left wing side. He's got DeRoche breaking in, centering pass for DeRoche, and that's broken up by the Mid Fairfield Ranger defender in front. Back the other way, come the Rangers. And Williams will settle it down there, speeds it up for Durasevich, who gives it up to Rinaldi. Rinaldi's breakout pass, momentarily mishandled, but back the other way comes Williams. Williams with a head of steam through center, Williams shooting on Smith, he makes the save. And Rinaldi battling there on the near side half wall. And out come the Rangers. Rangers will gain the neutral zone. And Marcella will dump it deep for Mid Fairfield. Reverse it behind the net. That's Colin Anna there for the academy. Puck comes back around for Austin Cook. Cook sends it up to center. And Will Rinaldi will come across center. Rinaldi centers it in front. And Jack Gordon can't quite find the handle in front. Tied up nicely there by the Ranger defender. And unable to get a shot off. Kept at the point by Cook. He'll fire it in. And Smith will make the save with 6.48 left to go here in period number one. And the Academy on top, two to one.
After all, we'll come to Smith's right. Felix Gavry steps in for the 15s. And Boreanis sends it around near side. Teams will battle there, and Lumia will take for the Rangers. Gavers will go back to retreat. Retrieve with Lumia chasing. And we'll get a whistle. Six eighteen left to go here in period number one. Faceoff will come to Aiken's right. Trinac and Air will step in for the Express. Trinac and Air, Stapert and Gorton out there. And the Rangers will win the draw. That'll come back to the point to Yersini. He'll shoot it on Aiken and he will just tie it up. And a little bit of chippiness in front between Serbone and Steele. And off the draw, the Academy will control. That's Arisman over for Steele, up for Gorton. Gorton circling back, gives it over for Arisman. Arisman will chip it out of the zone. It comes up for Stapert. Stapert and Gorton battling there, and that play is offsides, and we'll get a stoppage in play, 5.58. Left to go here in period one, the Academy 15 national team on top, two to one. Off the draw, Will Rice and Victor Chinek and Air both battle. Chinek and Air, formerly of the Mid Fairfield Rangers, Will Rice, formerly of the Westchester Express, as the puck comes back to center ice. Picked up there as Gordon comes in. He tries to stick handle around a defender, but can't get it through the skates. It's tied up momentarily. Now Chinek and Air will control. Chinek and Air dishing it over for the point for DeRoche, who does a nice spin around, but can't quite find the handle. Chinek and Air now breaking through the middle. Trinek and Air feeds it back to the point. Now over for DeRoche. DeRoche, nice pass across for Stapert. Stapert with a backhand and Smith with a glove save. He'll tie it up 520 left to go here in period number one. Faceoff will come to Smith's right as he will step in on the draw. DeSantis will win it back, but the Academy un unable to control, and Varga will dump it in there. It's controlled there by Marcella. Marcella over for Marciano. Back to Marcella. Marcella will gain the red line and dump it in. That'll go in behind Aiken. And DeRoche will handle it there. DeSantis will regroup, curl back at his own end, loses it momentarily, but feeds it up for Williams. And it'll go back to Durasevich. Durasevich behind Aiken will come out to his left. His breakout pass fails to connect. And this could go for icing, but looks like it will not make it. And Smith will play it. It's left there for Diaz. Diaz will dump it around. It'll come over to DeSantis. DeSantis's shot goes wide. Williams hustling quickly to the corner to pick up the loose puck. And now that shot goes high and over Cam Smith. And now it comes around near side, half wall to Austin Cook. Cook will walk in. He'll shoot on Smith. He'll Smith with the smothering. He'll get a stoppage. 4 16, 15. Check that. Left to go here in period number one. The 15 still on top, 2 to 1. On goals by Williams and Miknich. Off the draw. Cook will control. He sends it in front. Rinaldi tries to tip it there. Now Anna will battle in the corner. Anna and Rinaldi. Rinaldi now with the puck coming out of the corner. Gives it to Cook. Cook feeds it cross point. That goes in on net. Smith trying to find it. And it comes out in front of mid-fairfield will control and come out of the zone. This is Kovalev. Kovalev coming over the blue line. And Kovalev hit hard there by Austin Cook. And the Academy will control as this is Frank Durasevich coming up the right wing side. Durasevich bodied off by two players there. And the puck now comes back to center where Cook will control for the academy. 
Cook. Feeds it up for Jack Gordon. Gordon will turn it over there to A.J. Sorbonne. Check that, Mattis. And the puck will come back to center. The Rangers will control. Lumia, Lumia will dump it deep for the Rangers and get a change. Aiken will set it up behind his own net for Durasevich. Selects having a little bit of trouble getting out of their zone right now, and Aiken will cover up wisely and get a faceoff with 2.52 left here remaining in period number one. The academy controlling most of this game so far, keeping the play down in Cam Smith's end of the ice, but last 30 seconds or so having a little trouble getting out of the zone. And they'll get the stoppage and try to regroup off the faceoff. Puck will come back to center where Mid Fairfield will regroup. And Steele. Steele will ship it up the wall. Puck will come around near side. They'll come back out to the point. Gavers. We're gonna get our first penalty of the game right here. We got a holding call, it looks like. And that penalty is gonna be on mid Fairfield. And the Academy will go on their first power play here with 2.07. Left to play in period number one. That's A.J. Sabone. He'll go off for holding for mid Fairfield. And the Academy will control coming through center. This is Williams now. Williams out there with Gordon. Williams along the left wing wall. He'll control. Pressure there, but he maintains the puck and sends it back to Cook. Cook walking in and fans on the shot. Puck bounces over his stick. And he'll regroup at center as the academy will try to get back in the zone and set up for this first power play of the season. This is now Williams. Williams comes in over the blue line. Williams feeds it back to the point, and nobody's home. Certainly looking like a team here that hasn't played together before a little bit, and they'll find each other as the season goes along. But right now, not a whole lot connecting. And this is, comes down for Gordon. Gordon moving in and doesn't get all of that, but Cam Smith was a, with a nice glove save, minute 16. Left to go on the power play in a minute 22 left here in period number one. Faceoff will come to Smith's left. DeSantis will step in. DeSantis not able to get the uh, draw, and that'll come all the way down for Aiken. Aiken will play it up the glass uh, to the point to DeSantis. DeSantis coming in over the center ice. Oh, nice move by DeSantis moving in. Oh, and just missed the top left corner with a nifty dangle there. And now that centering pass is picked up by Mid Fairfield in front, and they'll ice it all the way down. Aiken handles it behind the net. 41 seconds left on the power play for the Academy. And out of the zone comes Selects. This is Stapert. Staper with the puck, feeds it back to the point. DeRoche, cross point for Varga. Varga sends it deep. Varga leaves it there for Miknich. He's come back out now, DeRoche with a shot. Not sure if Smith got a piece of that, but it ended up wide. And Miknich now sends it over again for DeRoche. DeRoche far side trying to set up Stapert. But a nice play by the Rangers defender in front to tip that pass away. Mid Fairfield will control. The power play is over, and so is the period. And so the Academy, with a good opening period here, certainly some things they could do better uh, and uh, be more cohesive as a team. But uh, I'm sure Aiken would like to have that first goal back. But 2-1 to one here at the end of the first period and we'll head to the intermission 
and uh, teams will regroup while they do the ice, and uh, we'll see what we get in the second period. Be back in just a few minutes. Test, one, two, test, 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 test.
And the teams are back at the bench as we are set here to get underway in the second period. As the 15 Nationals take the ice. Maybe a little bit of uh, getting to know one another, maybe a little bit of nerves to start the season. I've certainly had better periods with the camera work and the broadcasting, so we'll see if we can all get it together here in the second period. All right, the teams will step into the draw here as we are set to get underway in period number period number two. Chunak and Air will be out there with uh, Stapert and Gordon. And looks like maybe Selects had a little trick play there off the faceoff set up with DeRoche stepping up and playing left wing and Gordon looking to get a running start from the point position off that opening draw, but it did not uh, work out uh, as expected. Puck will come into Aiken's left, and he'll play it. And we'll get a whistle with the net coming off there as uh, the four-checking Ranger forward bumped into Aiken and knocked the net off as he wisely played that before the Ranger forward could get to the puck. 16.38 left to go here in period number two. Faceoff will come outside the zone as that stoppage caused by the Rangers. And Chirac and Arrow win that draw back to Stapert. Stapert over for Varga. Varga will chip it up the half wall for Victor. Victor Chirac and Arrow on the four check. Not able to get there first. The Rangers will control and chip it out of the zone. And now that is DeRoche dumping it deep. And Marciano will go back and chase for the Rangers. Marciano in the left wing corner. Sends it across the far side for Marcella. Marcella for Lumia. Lumia will dump it in. Out of the reach of Kovalev and back the other way comes Gordon. Gordon tries to stick handle through Marcella, but no sale there. And nice hustle there by Stapert as the puck bounces loose in front. Stapert now will pick it up in front. Centers it in front. Gordon tries to tap it home, but Smith with the save. Puck in the near side corner now as Gordon feeds it over for Rinaldi. Rinaldi back to the point. That puck is shot in by Cook. Now controlled in front. Rinaldi looking for Cook, who snuck down on the left wing wall. Cook now on the far side. Check that. That's Colin Anna, number 10, not number 20 on the far side half wall now. And this is Jack Gorton. Jack Gorton. Remember, we have Gordon and Gorton, number 19, check that number 16 is Gordon, and number 29 is Gordon. And that puck will go into the corner, battled there by Colin Anna, and he'll come away with the puck. Anna will send it up. And Rinaldi and a Ranger collide hard with the referee. We'll see if he's okay as the puck gets dumped back in deep behind Smith. Smith will leave it there. For Wheat felt, and out comes Colwell with the puck, but he can't find the handle. And now Mid Fairfield will control, and they'll send it up for Esposito. Esposito behind Aiken, tries to wrap it around. Aiken with the save there. And back the other way comes the Academy. 
this is Miknich. Miknich tries to center it, comes back to Steele, and now Miknich will control. He tries the wraparound and scores! Ryan Miknich with the goal on the wraparound, and the Academy goes back on top, or extends their lead rather, by two, by a goal to two at three to one. Nice play there by Ryan Miknich to wrap that puck around on Cam Smith. Wrap arounds at both ends, Aiken making the save at one end, Smith unable to at the other. The assist will go to Williams there, so he picks up his second point with the academy. And that puck will come in on net. As we're just under the 14 minute mark here, and the academy will control in their own end. This will come back for Arisman. Arisman will send up the left wing wall. This comes down the far side now, centered in front. And DeSantis unable to find the handle. DeRoche will control at the point. He'll send it back deep. DeSantis will battle there. He'll come back to the point now for DeRoche. DeRoche will walk to the middle. He'll fire through a mass of bodies. It comes hard off the wall. And Williams tries to knock that home. And the puck will get sent all the way down by mid-Fairfield. We'll get an icing call with 13.20 left to go here in period number Two, the academy on top, three to one. The academy will send out the line of Gavers, Gorton, and Boreanis. And off the draw, the Rangers will control. That's handled by Marciano, who sends it around for Marcella. Marcella comes back to Varga, he's unable to handle it there. DeRoche will field and kick it back up ice, but Marciano with a head of steam. He's bodied off there nicely by Varga, and it'll come back the other way as Boreanis. Check that, no, that is Boreanis. We'll get these numbers straight sooner or later. Getting the names on the back of the jerseys will help as well. And it comes back now for Varga. Varga will chase, and Varga will send it cross ice for DeRoche. DeRoche looking for Gordon along the near side wall, and Gordon streaming down the left wing side with a ton of speed. Gordon will follow it all the way around far side, comes back to the point for DeRoche, he'll fire that shot wide, and Marcello will chase in the corner for the Rangers. That's handled now by Marciano behind the net. He's challenged there by Gordon, and Marciano will come away with it as Marciano gets help from Mattis, and now it'll come back to the to Chunekanair. Chunekanair will give it to his defenseman, take it back, and come through center. Chunekanair gives it over for Gordon. Gordon will shoot, and that might have gotten the crossbar or Cam Smith's arm. It'll come back now for Cook. Cook bodied off there, and Mid Fairfield will come back the other way. This is Mattis, and Mattis sends it in. That's M-A-T-U-S-Z, not to be confused with Defense Secretary James Mattis. And the Academy will come out of their zone. Jake Stapert along the right wing side. Trudeck and Air now along the half wall. Trudeck and Air in the corner. He'll circle there. He's looking to center it. Sends a nice pass across for Stapert. Stapert unable to find the handle. And he'll give it back to Trudeck and Air. Trudeck and Air's shot goes high and wide of Smith to his right. Shot in front by Durasevich. And Gordon will control at center. Gordon now coming through center. Shoots it in on Smith and he'll make the glove save and get a stoppage with 11.20 left to go here in period number two. Selects on top, three to one. It's a new season for everybody. Everybody getting used to new line mates, new coaches, new routines, and for me, new numbers. Lumia will chase now for the Rangers behind the net. Centering pass there is picked off. Williams will chip it up. And here comes DeSantis. DeSantis through center. DeSantis puts it off a shin pad, and it goes to the half wall and back the other way come the Rangers. This is Will Rice. Rice will shoot. And the Academy will clear it there as Martirano chases, but not quickly enough. And we'll get an icing call with 10.42 
left to go here in period number two. Faceoff will come to Aiken's right. The academy will send out Colin Anna along with Jack Gordon and Will Rinaldi with DeRoche and Varga on defense. That puck comes back to the point and teams will battle along the near side half wall and the puck will come back to center where Martirano will control. Gordon with a nice job to strip the puck away there. Comes back to DeRoche at the point. He'll chip it back deep. Gordon now in the corner battling hard. Colin Anna back to DeRoche at the point. DeRoche walks to the middle and then comes back. Fires a shot on net. Smith with the save. And the team's battling in front. The Academy controlling the puck. Good shot there by Gordon. Comes back to the point now. And this is Rinaldi who's back there covering. Not able to get a shot through. Varga will send it wide. And Rinaldi will chase in the corner. Rinaldi battling hard. The puck gets chipped out of the zone. And Varga will chase for the Academy. Varga now sends it up the right wing wall. Just out of the reach of DeRoche. Rinaldi will field and send it back for Varga. Varga back for Will Rinaldi. Rinaldi from Linfield, Massachusetts. Sends it up the right wing side. And Rinaldi now with a nice move from behind the net. Cutting out in front but not able to get the shot off. And the Rangers will come back the other way. Rinaldi everywhere all over this puck. Back checking hard. And a nice hit there by looks like Austin Cook. And the Academy will come back the other way. And this is Rinaldi, believe it or not, with the puck. Rinaldi sends it across. And that shot goes high and wide and up out of play. With 8.54 remaining here in period number two. And the 15s with a 2-1 to one lead. And we got a tripping penalty on Esposito. for Mid Fairfield and the Academy will go on their second power play of the game with 8.54 left to go here in period number two. Face off will come to Smith's left. Mid Fairfield wins yet another draw. That'll come in on Aiken. And he'll calmly dish it aside for Cook, evading the Rangers four checker. Cook will circle and regroup and the Academy We'll try to get something set up. Nice move there by Cook, breaking ankles. And Chernek and Air will come down the left wing side. He'll hang on to the puck and control there. Aggressive penalty kill here by the Rangers as they pressure the puck hard, and now they settle back as the Academy controls. Chernek and Air at the point. That puck is tipped in front by Williams. Now he sends it back for DeSantis. DeSantis now coming in. Nice pass there. Wow, oh, and nice patience there. By either Williams or Gordon. Not sure who was the recipient of that pass from DeSantis, but made a nifty move trying to outweigh Cam Smith and get around, but just couldn't find the handle. And with 1.13 left to go on this penalty, 8.06 left to go here in period number two. And the 15's leading three to one. DeSantis, Trinecanair, and Gordon out there for selects with Williams and Cook at the point. Cook will control now. Feeds it up for DeSantis. DeSantis, pressure there and circling. DeSantis sends it over for Cook. Cook will feed it for Williams. Williams centers for Trinecanair, and that shot is blocked. Gordon will control now. Gordon sends it over for Cook. Cook, left wing side for Williams. Academy controlling, but still looking for a quality scoring chance. And the puck's turned over along the half wall, and Cook will chase for the 15s. And Cook will go back behind Aiken. He's pressured there by Rice. And he comes out dangerously in front of Aiken. And that puck is picked off there in front by Gordon. Gordon hits a trailing true neck and air. And a nice glove save by Smith. 
And that puck will get shot all the way down to be no icing as there's still just 12 seconds remaining here on the power play. The academy controlling as Gordon will come up the right wing side. Check that. Not Gordon, that was DeSantis. 14 looking like a 19 for the camera viewfinder here. And the Rangers have killed off their second penalty of the game. And coming back the other way, they'll go off sides with 6.44 left to go here in period number two. Rangers trailing by two. Miknich will step in on the draw, and he'll tie it up, and he'll come away with the puck. Miknich's out there with Stapert and Gordon. Miknich. Miknich will leave it there for Gordon, who turns it over there, and Mid-Fairfield will come back out of the zone. <laughs> Miknich gloves it and throws it back to Aiken. That should be a hand pass, but they're not going to call that. Actually, check that in uh, USA Hockey. A hand pass is still allowed in the defensive zone. Close as to whether Mignich was still inside his own blue line, but uh, in the NCAA now, that would uh, be a whistle. But at this level, it's still a play on it for the hand pass in the defensive zone. So the academy will control. And that's Stapert. Stapert hit from behind, and Marcella will control for the Rangers. Marcella. Sends it up for Marciano. And the Academy with almost a jailbreak, but the puck out of reach of both Colin Anna and Tyler Silverstein. And Anna now coming out of the corner, sends it in front for Silverstein. Oh, and Silverstein either just couldn't get over Smith or Smith made a heck of a pad save there. In tight quarters, nice play by Tyler Silverstein to and a pass out in front and a shot and a goal. Academy going on top four to one. And that's a goal by Will Rinaldi off a nice pass from Colin Anna. And with 5.22 left to go here in period number two, the Academy extends their lead to three. So Josh Steele picking up the secondary assist on that. So that's going to read Rinaldi from Steele and Colin Anna. As the play continues now behind Cam Smith. And DeSantis there. DeSantis. And the Rangers will control. Back the other way comes Kovalev. Kovalev down the left wing side. Kovalev bodied off hard there. And Williams will come back the other way. He'll feed it up for DeSantis. DeSantis gives it to Williams. And that uh, puck is deflected up into the netting. And we will get another stoppage in play. 445 remaining here in the middle stanza. A couple of coaches on hand to check out today's action. Coaches and parents, plenty of people in attendance here today to watch the Mid-Fairfield Junior Rangers take on the Selects Academy 15 Nationals. And the puck will come back to the point to Steele. Steele will dump it in for Williams. Williams now. And DeSantis just overskates the puck. Back to Steele. Steele will shoot that puck. Smith unable to handle that one. Goes up high off his shoulder, but will come back out to Arisman. Arisman dumps it in. And Miknich sends it over for Steele. Now Miknich regains control. And the Rangers will control and send it all the way down for icing with 4.09 left to go here in the second period. Faceoff will come back down to the Rangers end to the right of Cam Smith. And if not for a few nice saves by Smith, this game could certainly be 5 or 6 to 1 at this point. Trinek and Air off the draw. Stapert hustles to the puck, and he gets a shot, sends it wide, and Marciano will now chase in the far corner for the Rangers. Puck will come out now for Lumia. Lumia moving up the left wing side. Lumia 
tries to chip it past Durasevic, and Durasevic knocks him to the ice. And I'm not sure about that, but uh, they're going to call that a penalty. Going to call. Uh, Interference is what they're going to call that one. And Mid Fairfield will go on their first power play of the game with 3.53 left here in the second period. So that's Durasevic for interference and a highly questionable call. It looked like that uh, Ranger forward still had control of the puck or had just given it up. Fair game to be hit, but hey, it's a four to one game and uh, Mid Fairfield hasn't had a power play yet, so that's the way these things tend to go. Puck will come back to the point now, Marcella. Marcella will control, sending it across for Marciano. Marciano down low, comes back to Marciano, now to Marcella. Marcella shoots it wide of Aiken. Now to come back to Marciano. Marciano to Marcella. Nice play there by Justin Gordon. Hard on the forecheck, and Gordon pestering the Rangers D, trying to force a turnover, and they'll have to regroup all the way down behind goaltender Cam Smith. And now Marcella. Marcella comes up the right wing side. He'll gain the blue line and dish it off for Kovalev, unable to connect there where Chunek and Air almost came back the other way. And now Kovalev through the middle. That's caught in the left wing corner for mid Fairfield, and now it comes around the right side, and that puck is cleared all the way down by Josh Steele, and Smith will field behind his own net. 59 seconds left on the power play, and two minutes and 49 seconds left here in period number two. The Rangers will come up out of the zone, and they're not able to connect as Lumi check that, Colin Anna hustles to dump the puck deep, and nice four check there by Jack Williams. And Williams will control the puck, and he will send it all the way down. 38 seconds left here on the power play for the Midfield Junior Rangers, and the Selects Academy 15 Nationals on top by a score of 4-1. to one. Back the other way comes Diaz. This is Diaz, tries to get around a body there and is unable to do so. Varga back to control. The puck comes out in front, and Aiken... Puck goes up over the shoulder and into the net, and it's four to two. That's a power play goal for Mid Fairfield. Comes with just 16 seconds left on the power play. And 2.09 left to go here in period number two. So a big goal for Mid Fairfield to get back in this game. That puck is gloved ahead. And Rinaldi will touch the puck first, and we're going to get a hand pass, and that puck will come back outside the zone. 154 left here to go in period number two. That puck gloved deep, and it looked like a select player got there first, so they do call the hand pass. And Ayersman will go back and handle for the academy. Gordon now. Gordon on the left wing side. He's challenged there by Martirano. Lumia. Check that Anna for, for the academy. And now Anna will go in behind Smith. Anna looking for Gordon out front. Comes back now for Steele. Steele with a shot that goes off a body in front, off Will Rice. Rice will chase there, and it comes back out to, not quite to the point, and Rinaldi will go in and put a shot in on Smith. He'll make a glove save with 1.15 remaining here in the middle stanza. Off the draw, a blatant trip there as Gavers gets upended, but no call. And Marcel will send it back for Marciano. Seems like those two have been out there the whole game. 
A little bit of a cross check there on Austin Cook, but he manages to regain control, chip it deeper. Gavers keeps it in there at the point. And Gavers has it chipped by him, and he'll go back to chase. He dumps it all the way down. And 48 seconds left to go here in period number two. As Mid Fairfield will ice it, and we'll get a stoppage with 42.9 left to go here. The Academy on top by a score of 4 to 2. Now comes Chunek and Air, Stapert, and Gordon. Comes to the left of Cam Smith. Comes back to Gordon. He lets it go all the way to Durasevich. He sends it over for Cook. Cook fires that wide. And the puck will get ch chipped out of the zone there by A.J. Serbone. Cook and Durasevich back to chase. Back the other way comes Gordon. Gordon bodied off the puck there. And Chudek and Air will regroup at his own blue line for the Academy with just nine seconds left here in the second period. And it looks like both teams will be content to go to the locker room with the Academy up by two goals. So the Academy extending their lead to four to one before a late power play goal gets Mid Fairfield back to within two. And that's how it stands after two. We'll take a break. We'll be back with third period action after this.
back here at the Admiral James and Civil Stockdale Arena in South Kent, Connecticut, where the Mid Fairfield Junior Rangers trail the Selects Academy at South Kent School National 15 team by a score of 4 to 2. Mid Fairfield with a late power play goal in that period to get it within two. See if they can build off that momentum. See if Selects can get the momentum back with an early goal themselves here in the third period. Looks like the officials are waiting for the ice to set up just a bit here. So it looks like we're still waiting on the ice and on mid Fairfield. As the 15s will take the ice here. And the other thing that uh, these young men have to get used to is uh, playing hockey after a full morning of school. Although that's not the case today being Sunday, but uh, the whole uh, prep school routine is, is something new and different for a lot of these boys. and. Uh, they will have to uh, figure it out. And, uh, and speaking with one of the former South Kent coaches, Dylan Duncan, he said uh, it was almost predictable every year how the teams would play. Uh, first couple weeks, a few jitters, trying to get used to the routine, guys a little tired. Then they get some momentum. And uh, then around mid-October, it drops again, and then Miraculously, in the nick of time, right around states and regionals at the uh, beginning of November, the energy level will come back. So uh, there'll be some ebbs and flows to the energy here of these boys as they get uh, acclimated to life on campus. And uh, we'll see how it goes here in period number three after Mid Fairfield uh, got that power play goal uh, to end the second period. set to get underway here to st start the third period and off the draw Williams tries to dance around one defender and does but not able to get the shot off it'll come back to DeRoche DeRoche will fire that wide comes hard off the end wall and now DeSantis takes a hard hit there along the half wall Williams DeSantis and Miknich battling in front Miknich will send it back to the point for Varga. Varga's shot is tipped high and up over and into the netting with 16.30 left to go here in period number three. Faceoff should come to Smith's left. Check that Smith's right. Selects will control off the draw. Back to the point to DeRoche. DeRoche shoots that through some skates. That'll go wide, and Varga will chase there. Unable to get there and keep it in. He's chased down by Diaz. But Varga controls momentarily, but then loses it to the forecheck of Diaz. And back the other way now will come DeSantis. DeSantis over the red line. DeSantis moving in. DeSantis. 
Skating into that poke check a bit. And the puck will come back out of the zone. This is Yersini. Yersini battles there with Durasevic. Durasevic and Yersini battling to Aiken's right. DeSantis chips it around far side to... You can see that number looks like Miknich. Miknich will send it over for Durasevic. Durasevic looking to find an outlet. Comes to center ice where it's handled there by Diaz. Durasevic tries to dance around defender. He's bodied off there. Now Stapert will gain the blue line and tries to go around defender. And Gordon hooked hard there. And I don't see an arm up. Yeah, we do see an arm up. We're going to get a hooking call here on mid-Fairfield. So the South Kent, Sucks Academy at South Kent School, 15 Nationals will have an opportunity to go on the power play. Just under two minutes here into period number three as Jeffrey Lumia will go off for the hook at So the Academy will control in the zone. This is Williams. Williams sending it back for Gordon. Gordon now loses it there and gives it to Cook. Cook with a nice move, but unable to get the shot off. Cook will control. Send it back for Gordon. Gordon kicks it up to his stick. Sends it far side for DeSantis. DeSantis tries to get it to Williams. Two Rangers collide, but they are able to gain control of the puck, and they will ice it all the way down. With a minute nine left to go here on the power play. And back the other way comes the academy with just 58 seconds left here on the power play. And that shot goes to the right of Smith. Controlled now by Williams. Williams hooked, but he dishes it back for DeSantis. DeSantis comes off the wall. DeSantis getting hooked. Tries to send it across for Gordon, but that pass is picked off, and DeRoche will come back the other way. DeRoche behind the net, coming back with a head of steam out through center ice. DeRoche moving in over the blue line, and DeRoche still controlling the puck, sends it back to the point to Varga, back for DeRoche. DeRoche coming off the wall, leaves it for Stapert. Stapert now. Stapert. Rangers doing a good job keeping it to the outside. Comes back to Varga. He'll shoot that. And that'll go wide. And the Rangers will clear it. That's Will Rice dumping it all the way down to Aiken. Aiken leaves it there for Charlie DeRoche. DeRoche will come out from behind Aiken to his left. DeRoche looking for a headman pass up for Gorton, but that goes off mid-Fairfield, and that will go all the way down. Mid-Fairfield's touch will negate the icing, and the academy... Get a whistle here. Not sure what that whistle was for. But the faceoff will stay in the Ranger zone and come to Smith's right. Third. Gordon now controlling. Sends it back to the point. That shot goes to the left of Smith, your right, his left, and along the wall, the Rangers will regroup and come out of the zone. Arisman there, Ranger fanning there on the big slap shot as he's bodied off at the last minute, and Rinaldi will streak down the left wing side. He's set on the boards there by Wheatstedt. Sorry, we felt. And now Mattis will control for the Rangers. Mattis will send it around for Yersini. Yersini not able to get it out. He'll send it back for Dia. Oh, uh, sorry, for Wheatfelt. And now Erisman will chase back all the way in his zone. 11.53 left to go here in the third period. 
South Kent on top by a score of four to two. Puck sent all the way down, and Tyler Silverstein will chase there for the academy. It's followed up by Jaden Boreanis. Silverstein and Boreanis battling in the corner. And the Rangers will try to chip it out of the zone. Gavers there. Gavers and Silverstein. Felix Gavers from Latvia. And the Rangers finally able to get it out. But a nice play there by uh, Boreanis to chip it up for Gavers. Gavers will lose the puck coming in over the zone. And back the other way comes Diaz. Diaz will shoot. Aiken with a right pad stop. That puck is centered out in front. And we're going to get a stoppage. And it looks like we're going to get a penalty here. As Durasevich will go for the trip. 10.59 left to go here in the third period. And mid Fairfield looking for an opportunity to get within one. Face off coming to Aiken's right, your left. And Williams steps in on the draw. And the puck will come all the way back down to Cam Smith at the far end of the ice. The Rangers will regroup there and try to come out of their own end and get the power play set up. This is Marciano for Marcella. Marcella. Marcella coming in over the blue line. And DeRoche will control there and send it all the way down where Smith will play it and leave it for Marciano. Marciano coming out from behind Smith. Sends up the left wing side to Marcella. Marcella far side for Kovalev. Kovalev will curl at the blue line and give it back to Marciano. Marciano sends it deep. Back to Marciano at the point. Over for Marcella. Marcella chips it down to Kovalev. He's challenged there by Varga. Will Rice now in the corner for mid Fairfield. Leaves it for Diaz. Diaz behind Aiken. Comes back to the point to Marcella. Marcella shoots it, Naken with the glove save. He'll hang on. 53 seconds left here on the penalty kill and 9.51 left here in period number three. A lot of zone time there for the Rangers, but not much cooking on the power play. The academy doing a good job of keeping the Rangers to the outside. As Trinecanero steps in on the draw against Cott, and Trinecanero will win it back for Steele. Steele chips it up the wall, but Martino will keep there for the Rangers. Martino sends it in on net. That puck is tipped. Aiken will make the save. Rebound out in front, and Cook will chip it down the ice. Cook is hounded there by, sorry, check that, not Cook. Uh, the Ranger is hounded there by Trinek and Air. Trinek and Air now with some nice moves coming off the half wall, and he will control the puck and skate it back into his own end, content just to rag it back and kill some time here on this power play for the Mid-Fairfield Junior Rangers, and he'll send it all the way down. And now the Rangers will regroup and control there. That is Marcella. Marcella sends it up for Marciano. Puck on the right wing side. That's Martino there. Martino controlling now. Martino will just dump it back deep for Lumia. Lumia unable to get control of the puck there. That puck chipped out in front. Dangerous play there as Martino was striking through the middle, but the Academy able to control it, and Gordon will just glove it there as the puck stays along the half wall. Puck down deep now for Lumia. Lumia battling with Cook. Cook comes away with the puck. Cook will skate to the red line, and with the power play successfully killed, Cook turns it over at the blue line, and back the other way come the Rangers as the Academy able to get a change. Now Rice coming in, he's challenged there by Erisman, and that puck is tipped up and out of play. 8.18 left to go here in period number three, and the Academy still with a two-goal lead. Face off to Aiken's right.
Arisman will control as Williams loses an edge there, but he's able to chip it back out and back the other way will come Wheatfelt. Wheatfelt. Wheatfelt coming down the right wing side, sends it up for Rice. Rice gives it up for number 11. Not sure who that is as we didn't have his name on the roster to start. Oh, and what a hit there by DeSantis as he just absolutely leveled Wheatfelt. Wheatfelt felt that one, folks. And DeSantis now. Controlling the puck along the near side wall. He'll skate back into his zone and leave it there for Arisman. Puck turned over there. Good hard hit by the Academy there in the corner. And Esposito coming off the wall. He backhands it out in front. Puck will come back to the point. Chipped out now for Gordon, and Gordon will just tip it back up the center. Puck chased down there now by De Marinas. De Marinas. Oh, and a nice hard hit there by Jack Williams. Bodies are starting to fly now as both teams really engaging in the physical play. Some of the rust starting to wear off from the summer. Charlie DeRoche now gives it over for Justin Gordon. Gordon hit hard there by Rice. Puck will come back to the point now. And a nice hit there. And we're going to get a penalty, it looks like. Looks like that might have been away from the play. That penalty not on Chernekiner. That is uh, what we were looking at on the screen. But in the corner, it looks like Jake Stapert is going to go off. And we're going to get a roughing call on Stapert. And so the academy will go down a man again with 6.50 left here to go in period number three. And the midfield field Rangers, Junior Rangers, will go on their third power play of the day. Neck and air, chips it ahead for Rinaldi. Rinaldi battles hard and gets it deep. Good hard work there by Rinaldi to win the race of the puck and chip it deeper where Mid Fairfield will set up behind Smith and come out of their zone. Pass is too far ahead for Lumia. Neck and air overskates it. And Mid Fairfield able to chip it back in the zone, but now it comes back out to Marcella. Marcella, the M&M &M pair for Mid Fairfield back out on the ice. Marciano and Marcella. I wonder if that's plain or peanut. The Academy will control, and DeRoche will send it all the way down on Smith. Mid Fairfield will control there. Marcella trying to send it ahead for Diaz, but overshoots him, and Varga will step up and dump it in deep. 108 left to go here in the power play for Mid Fairfield. And back they come the other way. This is Marcella. Marcella over the blue line. Gets by Williams, but not able to get by Cook. And the puck is chipped forward. Williams moving in now to breakaway. Jack Williams in for the academy. Oh, and a glove save by Smith with robbery there. As Williams didn't quite put that where he wanted to, I think he was looking to go bar down. But nevertheless, a nice save by Cam Smith with 49 seconds left here on the penalty to Stapert. Nice shorthanded bid there by Jack Williams. 5.39 left to go here in period number three. The Academy's still up by two. Puck will come back for Cook. Cook will dump it deep and he'll find Williams behind the net. Williams. Williams and Gordon out there on the penalty kill with Cook and Jurasevich. Puck chipped back around now and mid Fairfield with no pressure. Check that, here comes Gordon with some pressure and they will come out of the zone. This is Rice. Rice gains the blue line but turns the puck over right there and Williams with another shorthanded bid trying to outrace Yersini. Williams cutting in, this time Williams does not miss. He goes top shelf, far down and that's a shorthanded goal for number 15 from Biddeford, Maine, Jack Williams. That's his second goal of the day and the academy will go Back on top by three goals at five to two. So with 5.06 left to play here, a shorthanded goal puts the academy back on top by three. And that bid almost went as Gavers tried to put it 
past Smith and just shot it high and over the net. Gavers now toying with an interference penalty there as he skated completely away from the puck and put the hit on, but no call. The Academy will chip it out, and this should go for icing. And it will. With 4.38 left to go here in the third period. And the Academy on top, 5-2. to two. Face off to Aikens left. Gavers will step in. Out there with Borianis and Silverstein. Gavers plowed through. By the Ranger forward there, but uh, the Academy able to come out. This is Gavers now. Marciano dances around one, two on one. Sends it across, and Aiken run into by Steele there. But both players look to be all right as the centering pass did not connect and went into the far corner. And back the other way comes the academy. Puck is in the skates of Borianis. And the puck will get turned over there, and back in the zone will come Serbone. Serbone bodied off by... Puck will come back out of the point. Marcelo with a shot. And that's blocked by Erisman. He's uh, limping off the ice, but appears to be okay. Back the other way comes the Academy. And this is Mignich, and Mignich fires and scores! Ryan Mignich. And the Academy with a 6-2 to two lead now. Ryan Mignich with either his second or third goal of the day. And uh, the Selects 15s. With a four goal lead and 3.36 left to go here in the third period. Play continues now as the Academy will come out of the zone. And that is Miknich, the goal scorer. And we're going to get a penalty here. And it appears to be on DeSantis. And that's going to be another roughing call on the academy. So 3.19 left to go here in period number three. The academy with a four goal lead. And Jack Williams will step in on the draw with Miknich. Varga and DeRoche out there for the penalty kill. Varga kicks it over for DeRoche. DeRoche fires it hard, sort of a pass slash icing. And we're not going to get what could have been a roughing call there along the near side half wall. And Mid Fairfield will handle there. And back the other way comes Martino. Martino through center. And Martino loses it to a nifty stick check by Jack Williams. And will dump it all the way down with 252. Left here to go, a minute 30 on the Selects Academy penalty to Nick DeSantis. And Mid Fairfield having trouble getting across through the neutral zone and into their offensive zone to set up. But we'll see what they can do here now that they've entered the zone. Puck turned over there by Koval Evan. Back the other way comes the Academy. A lot of hooking and holding going on with a 6-2 lead, though. You don't expect much to be called here. And now the Rangers will come back through center ice. This is DeMarinas. DeMarinas hit hard there by Varga. Both teams battling along the near side half wall. And that puck is shot all the way down. Smith will play it to avoid uh, any dangerous play in front of his own net. No icing, obviously, as... Uh, Actually, there would have been icing there. I'm not sure why he played that. Uh, check that. That would not have been icing as Selects is killing a penalty. Mid-Fairfield still on the power play. Hard to imagine as the puck has barely been in the Selects Academy zone. That's what threw me off there a little bit. But uh, Mid-Fairfield still on the power play for another 15 seconds. They're trying to get out of their own zone and set something up in the Selects Academy end. 
And that play handled easily there by Frank Durasevich at the red line. He'll dump it deep back in the zone, and that will kill off the penalty to DeSantis as he returns to the ice with a minute 16 left to go here in the opening game for the Selects Academy at South Kent School, 15 Nationals, as they look to be cruising to their first victory of the season. Back the other way comes Stapert. Stapert moving in with DeSantis. Stapert with a shot into a body. DeSantis tries to put it through, and that shot is blocked again. Back the other way come the Rangers now. Rangers coming out of their zone along the near side boards. And the Rangers just having absolutely no luck getting through center ice on this Selects Academy team. Oh, centering pass and a hard hit from behind in the slot. But no call there. And back the other way come the Rangers. This is Lumia. Lumia and Mattis. Aiken with a right pad stop. Follows it up with another save. And we'll see if we get a whistle, but uh, see if we get a penalty, rather. And we will. So that's Chinek and Air. Looks like he's going to get a minor for hitting from behind and a misconduct. Victor patting the stat sheet a little bit there with a little extra mayonnaise on that sandwich. 22 seconds left to go here in the third period. Mid Fairfield will be on the power play for the final 23, 22.8 seconds. And that draws one back behind Aiken and shot all the way down and around. Cam Smith will be back to the field and he'll leave it for Wheatfelt. And Wheatfelt will come out of the zone. And here comes Cott. Cott. Not taking a nap on that play. And that'll be the final horn and the final score from the Admiral James and Sybil Sockdale Arena is the South Kent, Sucks Academy at South Kent School, 15 Nationals, 6, and the Mid-Fairfield Junior Rangers, 2. Big days for Williams, Miknich, Rinaldi, and... Uh, Aiken gets the win, and the two teams will shake hands at center ice, and the uh, 15 Nationals will look to notch their second win of the season on Wednesday night as they take on Ham, uh, check, uh, the Elite Hockey Program, uh, Cheshire Elite Hockey Program uh, on Wednesday night. So we'll see what this team has in store for us, but a pretty successful start in the opening game of the season. And the final score for the final time is the Sucks Academy at South Kent School, 15 National 6, and the Mid-Fairfield Junior Rangers 2. From South Kent, I'm Wells Aiken. Have a good afternoon, everybody.